continuing on right now, um, one of the most sought after ones, this new comic book day 2019 Interceptor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is a reprint of one of the earliest Donny Cates writings right here, where, uh, Vampires Over on the Earth. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't know the whole story. I haven't read it, but that's the gist of it. Donny Cates, though, mm -hmm. you know about Don Cates. Come on, man. This is definitely sought after. For new comic book day, continuing on, Captain Canuck right here. What is Captain Canuck? Who is that dude? I don't know. I have no idea. But this was one of the free comic book day joints, 2019. Nice cover. Chapter House. Chapter House comics right there. Yeah, it was dope. I have no idea. I don't know anything about Captain Canuck, but you know, I would imagine that's something Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this, is, this right here though, we've seen this though, Grumble and the Goon. Grumble and the Goon coming together right there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't go wrong with that right there. Grumble has been um, uh, making some noise. I think they're at issue number five or six right now. The Goon has come back with a new volume from its earlier issues that it used to put out back in the day. Making its stance, the new comic book day. Then uh, free comic book day, 2019. Riverdale. Riverdale. Sought after. Archie. Sought after. Come on. That's one of the uh, gold sponsored free comic book day books right there. Keeping it moving. We have right here, Witch Hat Atelier. Is it Atelier? Atelier? I don't know. It's French. Word. It's fragile. Fragile. <laughs> fragile. Fragile. It must be French. Continuing on, Buffy with Firefly mm, right here. Big book. You know what I'm we saying? We needed that one though too. Come we on, Boom Studios one. putting it down. Josh Whedon. Josh Whedon. You already know how that goes. Movie maker. He did the uh, he did the first Avengers movie. You know what I'm saying? Moving on. Oh, one of my favorite anime turned to American books and American Ro television shows. Robotech. Robotech. Dope oh color. man, I was I was in love with Robotech when I was a kid, man. In love with it. I used to love Matt Cross Saga, The Southern Cross, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It came from uh, Matt Cross, you know, of course, with the original anime. Let's keep it moving. H1 Ignition. I don't know what this comes from. This comes from, um, I, I, I can't remember. I can't, oh, oop. I can't remember what the name of that was, but it comes from something. Bob's Burgers. Who's not a fan of that great cartoon? I, I need that book. I need to see that book, too. Who's I not a fan Bob of Bob's Burgers? Burgers? Damn. Who's not a fan and of Bob's so Burgers? Actually, when we were going to get the books, they were, they were, everybody was out of Bob's Burgers. Everybody was after it. Especially at uh, Kino, Kino yeah, 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 uh, Midtown. Uh, I can't pronounce the name. It's a Japanese bookstore right there across from Bryant Park, in Midtown Manhattan. Man, they were at they were that book. That and Ninja Turtles were out. Do we have to speak on the cat? No, no, no. But no. well, we shouldn't later yeah. terms. Yeah, <laughs> behind, behind the cameras, we're talking about some yes, other stuff. Yes, he was a nice. You know, yeah. <laughs> Trap House. All right, Bloodshot. You know what I'm saying? Dope book. With a sneak preview of Fallen World that just dropped uh, last Wednesday. Uh, Valiant, Valiant Comics, you know what I'm saying? If you're a fan of Valiant, you can't go wrong. Free comic books. This was one of the big ones. That's why, at all the places, it was given away the most. And you see about seven comics. Spider-Man! Spider-Man, right here. Oh. But this is the one right here that's not just a free comic book. It introduces the, uh... Inauguration of well, not really the inauguration, but but like the continuation of the story that's happening with Carnage, oh. where he's trying to bring back Null, and in order to do that, he has to kill everyone who ever had the symbiote in their life. You know what I'm saying? Everyone who ever wore the alien symbiote has to go in order for Null to come back. So Carnage is on a mission to wipe everybody out. And this story right here is 
definitely can in, in that entire mission. You gotta have this. Make sure you pick it up. Free comic book day. That's a nice little side story in here too with Miles Morales and Peter Parker. That's dope. That's dope. So um, don't sleep on it. Continuing uh, uh, on. Uh oh, uh, Spazzle. A real nice one right here. Spaws Needle. Spawn number one. A reprint of Spawn number one right here. Uh, not too many reprints have been done with that, especially not in recent days, you know what I'm saying? It's doing dope. And uh, this is an original, brand new Matina cover that goes with it, you know what I'm saying? So you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> I didn't go wrong. Nope. Spawn. What is this right here? Starburns presents. What is Starburns? I don't what know what that? this is. What is man. that? I, I, don't I saw know. it on the table. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it is. Right now, even after uh, it's in my hand, I still don't know. They're in the wrestling ring doing something. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Free comic book day. Actually, that's the end of my um, lot for free comic book day books. Those are the ones that are official 2019 books. The gold, silver tiers, whatever tier. And um, along with all the stops that I made, which included Midtown comic books, which included Montesi comics. Mm hmm which also included um, uh, what Planet. Are the Forbidden Planet. Planet. Forbidden Planet, yes. yes. That's what I wanted to end off with because Forbidden Planet didn't only give the regular 2019 free comic book day books that were sanctioned. They also gave a bunch of side books that were just thrown into the bag for free. That didn't have anything to do with free comic book day. So I got to show you those too. Bonus. Coming from Forbidden Planet, along with a bunch of these that were mixed into what I just showed you, I also got Web of Venom Unleashed, number one. Is that a fucking pit bull? A right fuck there. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it definitely looks like a, a venomous pit. Damn. A symbiote pit right That's there. Cover. That's a really you know what fucking dope cover, man. I actually have that issue, but I have the variant. I didn't have the original A cover, so good to have. Forbidden Planet. This was given for free. These are free books that I just got. Star Wars. Star Wars number 34 right there. This is the, of the new volume. Green Arrow number 20 right here. Dope cover. And there it goes. <laughs> What's the next one? Nightwing. Nightwing. The Rebirth. Nightwing, right there. Come on, man. Number 28. <gasps> Old Man Logan, number 39. Forbidden Planet just giving it to you, man. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Darth Vader, number 5. Right there, giving it to you. These are They're not, they really gave those to you? Hand, they yeah. handed them to you. Those were all just free books that they just gave you for free comic book day. They have a big surplus going on over there. They were probably just get, trying to get rid of a bunch of shit in their fucking basement. What else? This also came from Forbidden, uh, for Forbidden Planet. Old Man Hawkeye. Right? Wow, there's an Old Man Hawkeye too? Number four. This is the B cover variant right here. Oh, wow. Issue number two of Barrier. This is an elongated dick. comic book. There's a big dick on that cover. Is that, is that, is that phallic symbol on that cover? Barrier number two. <laughs> right here. It's kind of an elongated book right here. I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's oversized, see? Like how right. most books are this size when they're wrong with it. There's something going on with that bone on that cover. Oh, yes. And the 25 cent pick of the fucking week is always. Look at this. Year to Five more yeah. copies yeah, of Year to Villain. Big fucking books right now. They were just trying to throw these away to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I think with these extra five that they gave for new comic book day throughout the whole system, that makes seven in my collection. Wow, so that was my free comic day pull. Well, actually, wait, two more. At the end of the day, after I went to Manhattan, came back to Brooklyn, there was one shop that I wanted to make sure that I showed some love to. Pinocchio Collectibles Do on it. McDonald Ave. Man, let me tell you, please, just go over there. If you're in New York, if you're visiting New York, if you're a comic book collector, you're coming to town for comics, go out to Brooklyn. 
go to Pinocchio Collectibles on McDonald Avenue. Uh, they've been there for 30 plus years. So let me tell you about OG Collections, about something that you go in there and you'll find something that you probably have been looking for for a long time. They might have it, man. And they're not going to shit you. But they know their stuff, so you're not going to shit them either. Let me tell you. I went in there and I, I, uh, I picked up some of their free comic book day stuff because they were supported. They had their official symbol and all that type of stuff. But I really appreciate them. And free comic book day is not about just going out and grabbing a bunch of free stuff. It's about attracting you to the local comic book stores and Facts. get you to support Facts. the local business. So that was the place that I wanted to spend some money in out of all the different ones that I went to throughout the day versus Midtown Comics versus Forbidden Planet who have stores all over the fucking world and things like that. I wanted to support one of the mom and pop type of stores, you know what I'm saying? Who don't have a bigger chance to stay alive like those stores do. So I spent some money and um, the two free comic books that I got from there were uh, Walking Dead 163 and Saga number 43 which both were 25 cent books when they came out live on the shelf you know what I'm saying they were celebrating like 25th anniversaries and, or whatever like that there were landmark issues as far as whatever they were celebrating they're not like key or anything like that but um it's good to have your collection yeah cool stuff and what you, you buy there when you were there when I, when I was there when I wanted to support I see something in the background um I was like, you know what I'm saying? I want to spend some money and not just take free books from y'all. And I gave her a little bit of bread. Not, not even a little. Not, I mean, really, a little bit of, bit of bread. Like, in the teens. Okay? You know what I'm saying? I just so wanted to show some love. And what did I get for that? The Eternals number five. Mm. Which is big in the whole placement of the Marvel Universe right now. In the future. It phase. really is, man. It really is. Come on, man. It really is. It pays to be nice to your local comic book stores. It pays to be nice to people in general. It pays to go out there and hit the streets on a free comic book day and see what you can find. You know what I'm saying? Um... At the end of the day, look what happened right here. It's 15 bucks. Great copy, too. Fantastic. Great. It was Great. actually, it was a pretty good copy, but I made it a fantastic copy after how, I pressed it. How did you do it, though? Let's push on to that. I pressed it. I pressed it overnight. And this is after, it, and, and this is after a, actually, this is after a 15-hour press. I didn't even do it. I usually do an 8-hour press. I did a 15-hour press. And the press is going up soon, though. The pressure video. Yes, I said that in the last couple of videos, and I haven't put it out yet. But it's, I'm, I'm really being pretty meticulous about the way I'm editing it. Uh, I want this to be a dope, dope little experience. So um, not only just to show you how I do it, but to teach others who want to learn how to do it. So um, pressing is a big thing. It's a big, uh, a big difference in your books if you want to spend little money to make a big difference in your investments. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's a very good idea. And who can do it for you? The comic book trap house can do it for you. You know what I'm saying? With some real where, where honest can get type of stuff. Though. You can get in contact with us at comicbooktraphouse.com. You can get in contact with us on Instagram. You can get in contact with us right here on YouTube. Leave us a comment. Let me know where you're at. Please subscribe to me. Let me know where you're at. We're right here in Brooklyn, New York. We're here to serve the people. I have a lot more stuff coming. New comic book pick video coming this week. And brand new other stuff. Free comic book day. Enjoy. Rejoice. I hope you got some good stuff. Let me know in the comments what you got. I mean, I know I didn't get everything. Like I said, I got about 30, 30 plus books from the whole 51 that came out. So, um... Let me know some of the ones that I'm missing. Like that Dark Age. I didn't get the Dark Age with Afterburn. Little Lulu. The Little Lulu. <laughs> a lot of, Casper. A lot of kids ones. 
They, were, they didn't want to get the kids ones, though. The cat, I wanted to get Casper, man. Casper yeah, is yeah, one of my yeah, favorite yeah. characters yeah, yeah. from the old school. And I always wanted them to do like the dark Casper. You know, like, instead of Casper the friendly ghost, Casper the angry ghost. It's uh, a new one. All right, let me, not, let me not let my ideas out there. Comic Book Trap House, we out of here. Till next time, peace.